come back and check us out on YouTube, and then the hi if you don't have time to watch the whole stream, you can check out the edited highlights on Twitter, uh, on Discord. So, yeah, give us a follow us on follow on those socials. Follow us on those socials, guys. All right, so here we are. Here's our our simplified the dragon demo demo two dragon and the falcon booster we are in live mode now so this is when things get serious this is incorrect this is incorrect yeah all this is incorrect um, I have to look at our flight plans for these notes. Yeah, I thought it was 270. Attack by one. shape. We don't have a final shape ending. This time we got to remember to jettison that nose cone before we get into orbit too. Whoa! Holy shit! The hell was that? People f shooting off fireworks, I guess. We go loud boom outside. Live every day? No. I would like to be, but. So yeah, absolutely. Make sure you uh, enable notifications so you can see when we come online as well. As we do not stream every day. I would like to. I would like to make it kind of a a, a job sort of thing. But uh, then again, so would everybody who wants to stream. So gonna need a tall, tall order of support in order to reach that goal. Um, but yeah, we st we stream when we can. <laughs> okay. Jesse, thank you for thank you for that follow. Much appreciated. Anxious for KSP two? No, not in the slightest. Um, we need to get into the right orbital or the uh, yeah. The timing needs to be correct. Not to burst your bubble on that uh, on that question, but absolutely not. We're there's no no point to being anxious for something that's over like two years away. So Close enough for government work. We are in the launch window. Recheck all of our stuff here. Oh, right, the uh, pre-flight check. Pre-flight checks. And I think we are all ready to go. So we are in the orbital. We are in the, win the launch window. The computer is programmed. 
Staging is green. Let's do it. It's all down to this, guys. You ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. We're waiting on you guys. Are you ready? <laughs> this is a lot of work in the making, guys. So if you guys just showed up, um, yeah, try and understand that this is this is a big moment right here. It's taken off a lot of building up to this point. So, yeah. <laughs> if anything goes wrong, it goes wrong and we're out the cashola. So, let's uh let's do it. We are go for launch. Okay. Initiate launch pull. All stations, going to go for terminal count, beginning with mission assurance. Mission assurance is go. DC. DC is go for terminal count. GC. GC is go. Sys 1. Sys 1 is go. Sys 2. Sys 2 is go. CC. CC go. NAV. NAV is go. Flight software. Flight software go. Mission software. Mission software is go. IT. IT is go. Recovery. Recovery go. RC. RC go. OSM. OSM go. Rock. Rock is go. LC is go. DC, you are go to enable the terminal count auto sequence. All stations, terminal count auto sequence is enabled. T minus 25 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 16 seconds. Guidance is internal. T minus 11 seconds. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two. One, strong back retract, ignition sent. Lift off. Lift off, Falcon 9. With Dragon Capsule Demo 2 en route to the International Space Station. We have cleared the, t we have cleared the tower, cleared the strong back. Twenty five meters a second. Okay, the numbers to remember here again are 177 for the burn back. Hundred and forty meters a second. Three kilometers altitude. Two hundred meters a second, five kilometers altitude. Vehicles approaching the speed of sound. Vehicles transonic.
500 meters a second, 18 kilometers altitude. Six hundred meters a second. Mach two. Sixty kilometers apoapsis. Approaching Miko in five, four. Three, two, one, engine shut down. Separation. No! Okay, well that, that was a mistake, but uh, it didn't cause us any problems. Burn back. Mess that up and hit me. Burn back complete. Grid fins unlock. Grid fins deploy. Fence lock. Switch to surface mode. Alright, we're done over here. This does not look right. Oh, I know why. Because we forgot to hit SAS beforehand, so... Yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake, but we should be okay. So we can see our booster.
50 degrees inclination. Keep it going. 51. And 52-ish. There we go. Okay, our booster is starting to come down now. Hundred thirty five kilometer apoapsis. Boosters down to fifty eight kilometers. Go, 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 go. Fifty six kilometers. Two hundred kilometer approaching two hundred kilometer apoapsis. Fifty two kilometers on the booster. And we're approaching Miko. And shut down. All right, the dragon is safe. Let's get back to our booster and get this sucker landed. Boy, we made a couple of really large mistakes there. I was, <laughs> I was getting nervous. Oh boy. Damn, dude, those live launches get me tense. Holy shit. All right. Press to surface mode. Okay, it's looking pretty good. LGC armed. Woo! Nine hundred meters a second now. We're a hundred meters more over into the plasma. Hundred and twenty meters into the plasma. Thirty. One forty. Engines are lit. Five hundred meters a second now. Four hundred meters a second. Vehicle subsonic. Yep, 
didn't get a sonic boom from that one. My programming's off. Okay, and... Gear unlock. Gear down. Gear down. Touchdown. GG! Good stuff! Good stuff! Where's the after dock unlock? Yeah, I don't know what it is. What is the after dock unlock? Oh, okay, six. Okay, five. Retract the grid fins. Very good stuff. <laughs> yeah! All right, the booster is secured. Let's get up to our dragon capsule and get it finished off here. Um, that's a ship. So show me that. There she is, right there. Okay, and we've already jettisoned our nose cone. That was one of the mistakes that we made during launch. Is uh, we went to Stage Dragon, and it's it like it lagged for some reason. Probably autosave was kicking on or some bullshit, and uh, we ended up hitting the space bar a couple times. I was hoping it would just absolutely ignore the second time that we hit it, but it didn't, and it went ahead and spit off our nose cone way before we were ready for it. But uh, yeah, it didn't cause any damage, and uh, everything else went off without a hitch, so good stuff, good stuff. So we're ready to go ahead and travel up to Apoapsis and put this thing into its uh, its parking orbit before we uh, make maneuvers to rendezvous with the International Space Station. So we get on over to Apoapsis, put this thing down onto the prograde marker, and put ourselves into orbit. There we go. Dragon is in orbit. Okay, so now let's do some of the uh, the nitty gritty, which is uh, clean up the orbital inclination, 
So there's the ISS. Go ahead and target the ISS, and let's match the planes to correct what little bit we missed up. It's off by just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, inclination? No, we want to match plane. Okay, go ahead and plot that. 34 point, or 38.4 meters a second burn to correct the inclination. I'm good with that. Go ahead and turn us to that node. Prepare for the orbital inclination correction burn. <clears throat> so you are in version 1.12? No, we're in 1.11.2. The version just before the latest version. Okay, we're in the plane. Okay, since, uh, I mean, we could do this either way, but the cheap, cheapest way is going to go on the inside since we've already got the, uh, some of our track is on the inside. So let's get a burn right over here at Periapsis and just pull ours back just a tiny bit to get the whole orbit on the inside. So it's just a little bit faster, a little bit easier to, uh, to visualize how long we have until rendezvous. So go ahead and turn us to that node. And we'll get this last burn before we cut loose of our second stage booster. with that. Turn us prograde and prepare for the booster two separation. Stage two separation. Okay, everything looks copacetic. Okay, Dragon, you are go for stage two separation. Ooh, I almost made a big mistake. Ooh, that would have been a big mistake. Don't do that. Okay, stage two separation, go. Dragon is on its own now. And take this booster and flip it around so that it can do a little deorbit burn. Bring itself back into the atmosphere. And to its demise.
Toasty. Toasty! And there it is! Our dragon is in orbit. En route to the International Space Station. How cool is that? Alright, so... Let's uh, target the ISS one more time and get a few orbits as we catch up to the International Space Station. And calm our nerves through that launch. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I get jittery, man. We, we put in a lot of work and a lot of time into these models and when we go into these live launches, it's no freaking joke, man. I feel it here. You know, this gets jacked. <laughs> it gets jacked. Woo! Good shit. Yeah. My hand's a little bit shaky. Oh. Whew! Yeah, we take it seriously. We take our live mode very seriously. <clears throat> yeah, we're about a quarter of the orbit away. It's creeping up on it nice and slow, nice and safe.
I'm guessing maybe another three orbits or so. Actually, more like possibly six or nine. Okay, so I'm thinking possibly next orbit. Get a burn over here. Can't make heather tails out of this. We're really close there, but actually, possibly the other. Okay, remove it. Bring it down here. Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Seven. That's close enough for me. All right. Go ahead and turn to that node and prepare for the Holman transfer burn. Should be able to actually see the IS. There it is, right there. 63 and a half kilometers away. Okay, let's go ahead and do that Holman transfer burn. Go. Six. Close enough. Close enough. How fast are we going to be going when we get there? Relative? Ten meters? That's it? Okay. I'm cool with that. <clears throat> Okay, 
Go ahead and pull it out of time acceleration right here. We're going to get an F5 before we come into render distance. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Approaching render distance. Two point five, two point four, and render distance. Here comes the stutter, there it is. And here comes the ISS. There it is. All right, we're within one kilometer. At this point, we should be coming out of time acceleration and null some of this speed and get a little approach going on. So RCS on, docking mode on. Go ahead and kill this speed. pretty good we'll keep on the keep on this course for a little bit longer switch over to the ISS here and let this start to get its uh, its turn it needs to correct its attitude which can take a little bit of time. Where 
where's the dragon from our perspective here? Uh, is that it right there? Yep, that's it. So is it about to do its roll here? There we go. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little roll. Man.
dragon has passed its closest approach, so gotta get this thing on the damn attitude proper. It's almost there. It's actually close enough. We could probably go ahead and tab over to the dragon and get it on its approach. <laughs> Three hundred meters.
<clears throat> All right, 100 meters. Wow, zero is absolutely wrong. Why is zero so wrong? Huh, wow. Oh, baby, there's your money shot for the day. Dude, that looks awesome. And those, for those of you who are new here, probably asking yourself the question, did he build, build all that legit? Did he launch that with shuttles and then do all of the missions individually and everything? Yes. Yes, we did. We built this thing legit piece by piece with the shuttles and Canada arms and the whole nine yards. Quite proud of it. How long did it take to build? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Over, uh, we, we've been, because we didn't just like focus on this. We were building all kinds of stuff. We were building limos and building falcons and I mean, you name it. We were building all kinds of stuff. So, uh, but we started building this thing probably Probably two years, possibly. Year and a half, maybe two years.
17 meters. Okay, we are sitting zero zero and uh, ready for docking. Is there anything that we do? We need to turn off, turn off our reaction wheels after we connect. Probably. Let's take a look at that. Let's pin stuff here that has reaction. This has got reaction and is running. Bottom one's gonna have reaction. kind of reaction wheels inside. There should be, okay, there's the probe. Okay. What else? Should have like a bona fide reaction wheel. Is that a reaction wheel right there? Yes, it is, okay. So we'll go ahead and let's toggle, let's turn these two off for starters. That. And that. And then the, uh, the probe core itself. Okay, that leaves us with just with just the large reaction wheel holding our attitude. Is there a second one? Is that a shit? That is a second one. Okay, go ahead and toggle that one off too. All right, pre-docking is complete. Let's do it.
thrusting forward. captured. Toggle the torque wheel off. Find controls off. Ducking indicator off. Cheers! Good stuff, good stuff. So we have once again, this is the second time that we have proven the dragon. Of course, we didn't prove it for re-entry. Our, our first attempt at the at this version of the dragon, um, its parachutes ripped on re-entry, and it, we lost the cap.